Homeschooling began early. 7 a.m. I'd be awake at the crack of dawn to watch out through my window as the school buses came by. I'd contemplate life. I'd think about what I was going to do that day and how I was going to make the world a better place. But like most homeschoolers, it wasn't long before I was back in bed to sleep in for another three hours. Three hours later, I'd roll out of bed. I'd head to the bathroom so I could begin getting ready for my day. Turn on the light, brush my teeth, and wash my face, but I had no reason to change out of my PJs because I wasn't going anywhere. I was homeschooled. Once I was ready for my day, I'd head to my desk with my large stack of books, get some paper, and begin my schedule. Now, if you're a homeschooler, you probably have siblings. I had two. And there comes a point in every homeschooler's life where they have to decide whether they're going to do their homework in the same room as their siblings and risk being annoyed constantly and not getting anything done, or if they're going to isolate. As a logical person who is plenty annoyed by their siblings on the daily, I decided to isolate. First, I'd start out with foreign language. Mine was Latin. Don't ask why, it wasn't my choice. I'd sit there reading the book, writing out word conjugations, and going through flashcards for about 30 minutes without basically any understanding until I'd basically just... <laughs> and then lunch. Mm, the sound is so good. After lunch, I'd go outside to procrastinate going back to my schoolwork. But then I'd remember that I lived in Texas and it was too hot to be outside. Quickly, I'd be back inside, and by 2 o'clock, I'd get serious. I'd read, and read, and read, and cry, and read, and read, and fall asleep in there somewhere, and take a crap ton of notes because it was the only way to survive the tests. And then I'd hear Mom's voice. Roman, Begrudgingly, I'd make my way downstairs to start the dishes. When I'd get downstairs, Mom would make a comment about me finally coming out of my cave. To this, I would roll my eyes, but privately, so that I didn't die. I would then begin the dishes. After the dishes were complete, I'd go to my schedule and find the very thing on the very bottom of the list. Math. The very sight of the word would kill a man. I hated math. I was never good at math, but I pushed through because I had to. My answer sheet was often full of question marks, questions that I couldn't answer, but then I'd look at the time and realize that I had to get ready to go. I, as many other homeschoolers, had an extracurricular activity. I was on a swim team for four years. It was a love-hate relationship. I would always feel tired afterwards, but accomplished, and that's what made it worth it. When I got home from swim practice, I'd always feel accomplished, but dead tired. Mentally from the schoolwork, and physically from the swimming. I'd go to change, eat dinner, and then sit down to watch a nice show before bed. But that's when I'd hear Mom's voice. Many tears were shed, and then I'd go to sleep, awaiting the next day to do it all over again.